I don't think I would have made it through B-School, honestly, without the consortium and without my consortium fellows. I was a person who had never taken an accounting class, never taken a finance class, never taken a marketing class. I was a biology undergrad, I knew science. And for me, I was able to really pick up the phone at any time and reach out to my consortium fellows, both in the journey with me and who had gone through the journey, who were already graduates, and ask for their advice, ask for coaching whenever I needed it. And so for me professionally, it continues to serve as a network that I go to and lean on even today. I have probably had some contact either on one side or the other where I'm the alum trying to provide counsel and advice or I'm asking for counsel and advice from an alumni. That's existed, at least for me, almost daily, certainly weekly over those years since I left school in 1980. And really since I left school then, I've been part of this community almost every year since then. I believe when I went to Kelly and I had the opportunity to go to Kelly, I think it changed my life. And I don't say that to be over the top, but I, I believe it did. It gave me opportunities I don't think I would have had. And I'm grateful for that. And whenever I have an opportunity to help Indiana University or Kelly in particular, I try to take advantage of that. We're seeing a lot of achievement from these kids as well. So getting to school is one thing, getting through school and graduating is another thing. But to be able to apply that and show some level of success over time, then we know we're really making a difference. And to start something and have it go for 50 years is just momentous and, and just as it is. But also to have it where it's helping people over and over again, I feel very committed to making sure that those opportunities are available to other kids in the future.